Hi, welcome to In and Around Computer. In this video, we are going to see what is a thread in OS and uh, the types of threads in operating system and also the difference between process and threads and also uh, the examples of threads and lot more. Thread refers to a single sequential activity being executed within a process. In an operating system that supports multi-threading, a process can consist of many threads. And now you can wonder what is a process. Process are uh, basically the programs that are dispatched from the ready queue and uh, are scheduled in the CPU for execution. This you can uh, check my video on uh, scheduling to understand this. And uh, if you finish this whole video, you can uh, better have an idea about what are process. And uh, in, inside a process, the execution of single sequential activity that we can call it as a lightweight process is known as a thread. Now we can see what are all the uh, things that thread has. Uh, that is a process we already said process ha can have a number of threads and uh, thread has the following that is uh, thread ID, program counter, register, stack. That is uh, this thread is a lightweight process running within a larger process or within an operating system. The thread has a, a program counter that keeps track of which instruction to execute next like that of a process and it has registers that hold uh, current working variables and it also has a stack which contains the execution history this uh, uh, like a process that creates a child process this uh, threads also can create child threads uh, that is in multi-threaded system that uh, threads allow multiple processes to uh, run simultaneously greatly speeding up uh, process operation and preventing processes from blocking each other's execution so this is the great uh, application of these threads uh, that is uh, threads are help and uh, help the execution to go uh, simultaneously between various threads that is uh, threads are nothing but lightweight process that is uh, it has a single sequential activity of a process so and uh, now we can see uh, if we the example of threads in OS that is uh, we can uh, have it like this that is a um, word processor is an example of a multi-threaded application and for instance when a user types text in the word processor it is one thread we can keep like that uh, uh, simultaneously that text is automatically formatted which is another thread and the file is automatically saved on the disk so which is another thread so these are uh, this uh, with this we can understand what is a thread so this uh, the whole uh, application we can call it as a process that is if we run the word processor that becomes a process and within that process we can have a number of threads each uh, have uh, will have a single sequential activity so now you will be clear i think now we can move to the life cycle of uh, threads in OS. The life cycle of a thread in uh, OS involves the creation, uh, scheduling, and uh, execution, blocking, and termination. The operating system plays a critical role in managing this life cycle of threads, ensuring that they run efficiently and effectively. So this, this OS plays an important role in this. And uh, now we can see them one by one, the various uh, stages of this thread. First is the creation, that is a thread is created by a process by, or on, by another thread within the same process. And the uh, OS allocates the resources such as stack and program counter for the new thread. And uh, scheduling, that is the pro operating systems schedules the um, execution of the thread that is the scheduler uh, selects the thread to be executed based on its priority and scheduling algorithm and uh, in execution the thread starts executing its instructions it may run until it is blocked terminated or preempted by the OS scheduler.
and in the blocking state the uh, stage the thread may become blocked when it needs to wait for a resource or an event to occur and the os scheduler selects uh, in this case the os scheduler selects a different thread to uh, run uh, so uh, in, in the last uh, uh, stage that is uh, it, will, it can be thread can be terminated when a thread has completed its execution and uh, this OS uh, deallocates the resources that were assigned to that particular thread and uh, its uh, status is set to terminate. So these are the stages in the life cycle of thread. Uh, now we can move to the ty types of threads that is user level threads and uh, kernel level threads. Uh, First, we can see what are user level threads and these are implemented and managed by the user and the kernel is not aware of that. The kernel uh, that is uh, we can say that this kernel is uh, uh, an important part of the operating system and that manages the resources that you can check my video on kernel in OS and uh, the user level threads are implemented using the user libraries and OS does not recognize these threads and the user level threads is faster to create and manage compared to the this uh, kernel level threads and uh, kernel level threads are uh, implemented and managed by the operating system and these are implemented by using the system calls and they are recognized by the OS that is uh, these system calls means that is a uh, programmatic way to uh, interact with the operating system that we can uh, see it in a separate video and uh, these kernel threads are slow, uh, slower to create and manage compared to the user level threads. Now we can see the example so that you can better understand what are user level threads and kernel level threads. That is uh, user level threads uh, that we already saw that uh, in MS Word these uh, that, that is threads used in this MS Word are managed entirely within the uh, application's user space without the kernel uh, involvement. So these such type of threads are the user level threads and uh, the kernel level threads are the Java threads that is uh, that are used in Java applications that uh, that uh, that involves the kernel that is uh, that are managed by the operating system so uh, subscribe to my channel if you feel contented